In this lesson, we will learn about the various methods of illustration used in aircraft drawings. It is not all inclusive of everything we need to know on that topic. Additional information can be found in Chapter 2 of the General Aviation Maintenance Technician's Handbook. The methods of illustration refers to how a three-dimensional part is illustrated on a flat plane. Some of the various methods of illustration are listed here. In an orthographic projection, a two-dimensional view of a side of a three-dimensional object is projected onto a plane. For example, if we were to represent the front side of this 3D object that is indicated by the arrow on a 2D plane, we would get a 2D picture as shown here. And if we wanted to show the right side view of this same object projected on to a two-dimensional plane, we would get the view shown here. The black outlines would be the actual lines drawn on our orthographic projection. And here we see the top view of the same three-dimensional object projected onto a two-dimensional plane. Orthographic projections have historically been a concept difficult for many of our students to fully grasp. So I have included another animation to show what three orthographic views of a three-dimensional object would look like. Again, we have here how the front view of a three-dimensional object would be projected onto a flat plane. If we project the top, bottom, front, back, and left and right views onto the parallel planes of a cube, this is what we would get. and then unfold the six sides of the cube until they can all be viewed on the same two-dimensional plane. When drawing the front, right side, and top orthographic views, ensure the dimensions line up as they do here. The top view should be placed directly over the front view, and the right side view should be to the right of the front view, some of the width and height dimensions require an up. auxiliary view to show all of the necessary detail. Here is an example of what an auxiliary view might look like. Isometric drawings allow us to see three sides of a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional plane. There are a couple of variations of the isometric drawing. Here you see an example of an isometric drawing and an oblique drawing. Perspective drawings are not generally used in aircraft drawings. 